How's it going there, fellow Shinobi Naoki, aka the Great Fukage here, bringing you episode 19 of my Pokemon Platinum Wedlock Randomizer series. And in the last episode, we went on an epic catching safari episode. And also, in this episode, we're going to be battling all the trainers to the left and heading straight to the Pokemon Mansion and catching a new encounter in the trophy garden in the back. And if there is any time left, I'm going to use Shady to fly to certain areas where I couldn't catch a Pokemon previously. Like, I believe there was to the left of Jubilife, because the old rod was just Legendaries and, I believe, a Staraptor, I believe. So, I couldn't catch anything. Only if time permits. If not, we'll do that for the next episode. So, here is the main goal of... The, here is what my team is looking like right now. And, uh, the bad thing I'm worried about encountering to the left is Quagsire. That's the only thing I'm worried about. But the good thing is, Quagsire can't hit my Rotom because it has Levitate. So that's the good thing. My Rotom can't be hit by ground moves. Alright, so, well, let's just bike there. Alright, let's go. Alright, so, hopefully we get a very cool encounter for the... Route 212, this is where I caught that dang Hariyama. Well, I didn't catch it because it whirlwinded me. Alright, oh, we go straight into this guy. An ace trainer, oh god. Here we go. Alright, let's train Rotom. Hopefully Rotom doesn't die. <laughs> and the best thing is, I can handle Fortress if I ever run into one of those, because they can explode and it won't hit me because I'm a ghost. That's the best thing. Ah, it's a Carnivine. Uh, Luke can handle it. Let's go, Luke! And it's raining, so it benefits me. Too bad I don't know Thunder right now. That'd be nice. Alright, let's go. Ominous Wind. Ingrain. Too bad Ominous Wind doesn't have more PP. It, only five, so... Like I said, if I run into Grass type, then I just have to. The only move that I can power hit it with is Ominous Wind. Oh, that's fine. I think it it should be low enough for a Shockwave to kill it. Faint attack. Oh! Oh, that's super effective. Ah, that's fine. I forgot about faint attack. That's fine. Luke's got this. Alright, let's go. Yes. Power of the darkness! Alright. And now we get the staff boost at the end. Oh boy. Alright. Yeah, Luke getting all that nice experience. Let's see what this next trainer's Pokemon is. Oh, it's a, a Pokemon Ranger. All right, Luxio. Mm. I'm gonna switch. Yeah, let's stay in. Oh, it's 30. Wow. Let's go for an ominous one. <laughs> it's a good thing I got the stat boost at the end of beating Carnivine. I was scared of like a bite or a crunch. But, yeah. Luke's got this. He's a powerhouse. Now, the thing is, if you guys are wondering why my Rotom is still in its normal form, it's because I can't get the change in forms right now because it was a special... I needed a special key item, which I can't get right now. If there is a way for me to get the item, I will do it, and I will actually change Rotom's form, because if I can do it, then I'm going to change Rotom to a, its um, Mo form, is the best situation for the gym. So that's what I'm going to be doing, if I can. If not, then I'll figure out another strategy, which is probably going to be teaching my Gallade Leaf Blade. That's my backup if I can change Rotom. Because then I can just Leaf Storm the Quagsire that Crash Awake has, which I know he does. He's got a Gyarados, a Quagsire, and a Floatzel. 
And I think it's Flo... I'm trying to remember the level it was Floatzel. I think it's like 36-ish or something like that? No, it's okay. So everyone's around 32. Well, almost everyone, just Dexter and Shady need training. And... Hmm, I'll train Kaiba right now also. Alright, let's go ahead, train Kaiba because, like I said, just in case... Let's get off. I wonder what I could have caught in this mud. Or the grass. Oh, wait. Wait. Am I stuck in the bog? Well, of course not. How silly. This is a mud pack. Wait, orange shell. Oh, okay. Dang it! I hate this mud! <laughs> okay, let's see what I could have caught besides that Hariyama. That whirlwind hit me! Didn't appreciate that. Aw, I could've got a bombs lie. Aw. That's fine. Glade. Uh, okay. Glade is actually one of my favorite, like, fighting type Pokemon. Well, of course, Lucario is a, near the top for me. As soon as I saw Mega Glade, it was very, very cool. And as you can see, I caught a Drain Punch from the team we got from Maylene's gym. Because it get, learns close combat in the higher 50 levels, and that's not going to be for a while, so I need to teach it some kind of fighting move. Ooh, and I got an elixir! That's going to be real helpful. Alright, let's just get out of this grass. I just want to get to training right now, and I really want to get to the mansion. And, ah, I remember this place. Uh, once you go underground, you can trade shards, and uh, it's a, basically a move tutor house, basically. Once you trade in a certain number of shards. So, I could, like, do off-screen, uh, underground, um, uh, cave m mining, and then if I get any shards, I can teach my, um, Pokemon the moves if I ever need to, so. There probably is something that would be very helpful, i just not thinking of it right now. Alright, so, Parasol Lady Alexa sent out Goldeen. Well, I'm not scared of it now. I swear to God, if this thing horn drills me... I swear to God, my, even I know my brother would laugh his butt off. Water pulse. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I was saying, please don't horn drill me. It's like, please don't. Psycho cut. Ah! Unleash the power! Get decimated! <laughs> and now I can use less potions since now I know Dream Punch! The barrel. Oh, perfect. All right. Now I'm just trying to remember where do I get heart skills to reteach um Gallade Leaf Blade because I'm gonna get rid of Rock Tomb for Leaf Blade. All right. Actually, one quick second, guys. I'm just getting a call. One quick second. All right. Sorry about that interruption, guys. And now I'm just gonna drain punch the the barrel. Get bodied. Oh wow, nice. So I better train Kaiba and everyone up. So like, around 35 should be a good level for the gym. 35, 36-ish. But we'll see what level we'll be at. Alright, let's battle you. Can't you see I'm fishing? Don't talk! You'll spook the fish! Hey! I'm gonna battle! Bring it. Is, now, is this the guy with the Gyarados? Yes, it is. One. Oh, God. And it's got Intimidate, so... Yep. It's a good thing I know Swords Dance. <laughs> and I'm just gonna rock to him it since it's part flying. Dragon... Dragon Rage?! Um, okay? I think plus, I know plus one rock tomb, how much damage would it do? Okay, let's go for rock tomb. Oh no! Oh no! Twister! Ah! No! Not the crit twister! Nah, no, just kidding. Mm, 
Sometimes I overreact, I apologize. And as you can see, I kind of stocked up on Moo Moo Milks. <laughs> I've got like 31. So I think I'm pretty set. They're cheap and they're uh, just as good. So I don't have to waste as much money. Leer. Hello? Okay, now the one thing that could mess me, that could uh, screw me over, would be a crit thrash. Rock Tomb. Good. I think Rock Tomb's accuracy is like 90 or 95 ish, so. That's fine, I'm gonna mostly hit. And yeah, I get body. Plus one. Nice. More than enough. Oh, wow. Yep, level up. Nice. And look at that attack of mine, 113. Nice. And of course, that increased attack nature. I'm thankful I got an increased attack nature for a Gallade. If I got a special Nez, then I would have been partially the uh, mess. Uh, beyond compare. Now, I know there's a TM around here somewhere. I'm trying to remember what TM it was. Was it Exeter? Or was it Poison Jab? I know it was one of the two. I think it was Poison Jab. Well, that's okay. Like, if I find it off screen, then I'll probably teach it to someone. I'm not sure who exactly once I find it, but we'll see. Alright, Goldeen Psycho Cut, please. It's weird how all the Goldeen are going for water type attacks, but that one uh, Goldeen before just kept on using Horn Drill non stop. That's just weird. I like the animation for Psycho Cut. It's pretty cool. Another Goldeen. That's fine. Alright. Let's go. Waterfalls. Like, I'm always careful. I really don't want to lose anyone to a Horn Drill. Like, I would literally lose it if Kaiba lost to a horn drill. Like, I would lose my win condition. Um, basically. Almost. For the gym. If I can't change Rotom's form. And of course, Kaiba's just become one of the essential cornerstone for my team. In this wedlock series, so... You always hate losing that one thing that's your, one of your favorite Pokemon. Alright, let's go. I know there's... Uh, let's see what you have. I think he has a Gyarados, too, so... Water Pokemon. I got happy when it rains, so do I. No, that's fine. I'm not gonna benefit. The rain's not gonna benefit you. No. Unless you've got, like, a bunch of Swift Swing Pokemon. Oh, wait, four. Wait, what? Barbro... Oh, okay, there's Barboche. Mm. So, yeah, after the episode ends, I'm just gonna find a Heart Skill, and gonna teach uh, Kaiba a Leaf Blade. Not during the episode, I'll just find it off screen. Right now, I just want to plow through these trainers and get to the Pokemon Mansion and see what I get. And for some reason, in this randomizer, I run across Pokemon that are normally found in certain areas, and then randomized ones. Well, it's always interesting to see what a randomizer will pop up. Alright, Gyarados. Oh god. Don't tell me I have to fight a horde of Gyarados now. Stop it! Alright. I dare you to thrash me. I dare you. Dragon Rage! Oh god. Here we go. Alright. It's a good thing. I almost clicked the fight button, almost. Go bite. Oh, okay, that's, that's fine. It's neutral. Hard fighting, so it makes it neutral. Nice. All right, let's go for that rock tomb. Of course, I'm faster. Get out. Nice. Oh wow. Oh, Kaiba is getting ready. Barboche again. That's fine. 
Oh wait, during all this training, since Kaiba's almost close to the level in which I wanted to be, I better slap on the EXP share to Dextra, just in case. Because you never know, something could happen, which it probably isn't going to with Kaiba, just in the rare odd case that it does, I want to make sure that at least Dextra survives. Even though she's a modest uh, Umbreon, it's still going to keep her around. Okay, let's go for a Drain Punch, get some HP back. There we go. Stab. Nice. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Another Barboche, that's fine. So I think when I hit, like, level 34, I'll slap the EXP share on Dextra. Let's go for a Psycho Cut. You will take my Psychic powers to the face! Level up. Hang! Clubs. Clubs. Yeah, you sure got trampled. Oh wait, I can take a shortcut! Uh, Dexter knows cut, I keep forgetting. Yeah, I can just take the shortcut. There we go. Oh wait, no, 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 that's just to the trees. Wait, is it? Okay, wait, what's up here? I wanna see it quickly. Yeah, what's up here? Oh yeah, there is a, it is a shortcut. Yeah, I think that's the TM I'm looking for, guys. I think that's Poison Jab, maybe? I believe, from what I remember. Alright, and now we can just go straight to- This is still the same area as the Hariyama, guys, just for those of you who don't know. Oh wait, I have to go down. Wait. I can just take this shortcut with this tree over here. Oh god, a cool trainer double battle. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Dextra and Kaiba have got this. Unless they have a fighting Pokemon, then Dexter is considered gone. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Unless I could be uh, pick them off one by one, but that's fine. I'm not scared. Alright, let's get this item first. What is it? Well, it's a blue shard! Okay, that's good, that's good. Collect, start collecting those shards for those uh, special moves. Just wondering what move I can you know. That'd be useful. Too bad I can't change Dextra Dark Pulse, though. But that's a TM. That's in Victory Road, so... Oh, I could have caught a Tangela. Oh, that's fine. Tangro. Not bad. Bulk. Bulk. And it's grass type. Yeah, let's fight. Let's, don't want to waste time. Alright, let's fight. Bring it! Now, I know these are Ace Trainer. Ace Trainers are always sometimes very, like I said before, very interesting. Hopefully nothing dies. Well, I know Kaiba's got this, it's just I'm worried about a fighting Pokemon killing Dextra. Too bad she doesn't know Protect, though. Because if there is, then Kaiba would just take care of the work, then uh, Dextra could Protect while Kaiba knocks it out with Psycho Cut. Oh, they're Pokemon Rangers. I always get these trainers mixed up because their sprites are the same, basically. Monferno. Okay, I'm knocking out Monferno first. <laughs> Unless this thing gets a, like a crit mock punch. Please don't use a crit mock punch. Okay. And uh, let's use Pursuit on the Meryl. How about us? I swear, this thing lives. No, it's gone. It's gone. It got bodied. <laughs> nice! Kaiba's 34. Very nice. It's getting closer. It's getting closer to that 36 level I wanted to be. Or 35, 36. Alright, so. Aqua Ring. Really? I'm gonna stall this out. And see, this is why. Dextra's attacks are. <sighs> I wish I could teach it some, like, setup. Like, I need to teach it Toxic. I need to find Toxic. Like, I know it's obvious where it is. I just need to remember. Like, I'm gonna teach it, like, Toxic, Protect, then Moonlight, and then something else. 
since apparently you can't learn Reflect and Light Screen. Because I tried it and it didn't work. Okay, get out of my face, barrel. Ah! I'm gonna crit. <laughs> nice. The best thing about Kaiba, a lot of its moves can crit. Like, once I teach it, um, Leaf Blade, I could teach it Night Slash, but I want to keep Sword Stance. Unless I want to get rid of it for Night Slash. Not sure. Oh, it's a Leaf Beyond! Nice. That's cool. Up again! What? Watch it get a crit on both my Pokemon. <laughs> oh god. Oh god! I was being sarcastic! Simon, I got a total crit! I called it too! I called it too! Like, what? Oh wait, it might get a double crit. And what happens? It gets a double crit. I swear to god. If it, it got Dexter at half health, and then somehow this attack missed, then I would have said, oh god. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> Alright. Yep, got that amulet coin on for that extra monies. Oh. There we go. Alright, now is this a new route? No, it isn't, it's similar. Alright, let's just go straight to the mansion. Come on. Ugh, fine. What else could I cut a couple of the Hariyama, though? I'm very curious. Oh, I could have got a Furo! That would have been. Uh, eh, so so. Let's just say so so. It's not like the best, but. Alright, let's avoid you. you guys later. I think we're getting close towards the end of the episode, so I just want to catch a Pokemon and then I'll battle that pair to end the episode. Alright, let's go to the back and the trophy garden. Oh, wait, I have to switch Pokemon. I have to send out True God and Mina. Now, what's the one type of Pokemon I don't want to run into that would hurt this pair? Water Pokemon would be fine because Mina would body it. It attacks. Ground. Oh no. Mm. Okay. Let's see what I encounter for the Trophy Garden. I know I have enough Pokeballs and Great Balls. And my encounter for the Trophy Garden is. a duplicate! God dang it! Brain Raptor! The reminders! No! God dang it! Why? Why, game? Why? Why must you remind me? <laughs> okay, come on. Okay, stop with the Star Avias. No more. I wonder if I'm gonna run into a Pokemon that's actually encountered in Trophy Garden. An Umbreon! Another duplicate! What is this? Come on. Come on, seriously? Dextra, too? And they're the right gender, too. It's not like the wrong one, it's the exact same Pokemon. Albeit, I swear to god, if that one was like an adamant nature or something like that, or a plus attack, I wouldn't love that, but eh, let's see what do we get. I got a Spinda! Okay! Alright, let's see. Dragon Rage. Uses him. So basically, he derped. Uh, 
Alright, let's catch it. Spin this! Uh. It's good in free-for-alls, though. It can be very annoying in free-for-alls. Especially its uh, hidden ability in the current gen contrary. Right? You can just um, superpower the enemy constantly in like, free-for-alls and then try and use Teeter Dance to make them hit themselves in the future and then finish them off with like a Sucker Punch combo or something like that. So what do I want to name it? What do I want to name the Spinda? I want to give it a unique name. I'm gonna name it Drunken Fist. Just like, it's a reference from Naruto because Rock Lee used to do the Drunken Fist fighting style where he accidentally ingested some, uh, let's just say, not appropriate drinks. And then apparently he could just fight, like, while drunk. And it was pretty dang hilarious. Alright, so yeah, I'll just battle that pair on the outside and end the episode off. Alright, here, where are they? Route 212, yeah, same route. Alright. Now, which pair do I want to lean off of? Let's go Kaiba and uh, Dextra. Pretty sure they don't have a fighting Pokemon. I swear to god, if they do and they kill Dextra, I will be so sad. Alright, so yeah, after this battle, it's gonna be done. Alright, so let's just battle you two and end it off! I'm going to sleep in the bed I got from overseas, I'm very well off if you haven't noticed. Yeah, 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 let's just get on with it. I don't wanna hear your bragging or anything like that. Are you quite. Yo, I'm prepared, bring it! Now, right, the question is, are you prepared for the power of my Glade? And my Umbreon. And a Prin Fluff and a Cherubi. Hmm, interesting. Oh, of course I'm getting rid of that Prin Fluff. I know it's not steel until it evolves into, um, uh, Empoleon. I know it's still pure water. So, Psycho Cut should do good damage, and I may as well just, uh, help you handle it. Just watch Cherubi get a super... Okay. Now, I know I'm faster. I'm higher level. hey -ya! Nice! Get out of here. I swear to God, that thing may have gone for Dextra. I think it may have gone for Dextra. Just watch Cherubi use a super mega ultra crit hidden power fighting on my Dextra, and then kill it in one shot. <laughs> Let's just go Psycho Cut and Pursuit. Alright. I swear to god, if this Cherubi lives, I will be so shocked. Which I highly doubt. No. Alright, get out of here, rich boy and lady. What? Overall ready? Well, that's fine. Rich people like me don't fight. Really? Oh, how terrible. Hey! Whoa, 17 grand? Holy... Man, that... Amulet coin kicking in. Wow. Alright guys, that's gonna be the end of this episode. I'm just gonna grind a tiny bit, beat a couple of these trainers, and then in the next episode, guys, we're gonna be tackling on the Bastoria Gym. So that episode's gonna be out Monday, so I hope you guys are gonna be excited for that. And of course, if you're still enjoying my series, which I know you guys are, be sure to show me some love and hit that like button down below. It really does help me out and help my channel out. In the comment, but most importantly, if you're new to my channel, perform the entire subscription and subscribe for more awesome Pokemon content and videos. And I will catch you with those Shinobi next time, and hopefully, we'll have no problems with Crash or Wake. Peace out, have a great day, guys.